Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And this, if I was using a USB microphone which is near to the camera, it could sound just awful. Right now I'm using the Voical Lark and probably I'm too far away from you. So here I am. Hope that you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to take a look and listen from what we can achieve and record from the Vocal Lark from Pixel. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out. Prices and specifications and whatnot. Now in terms of distances, I will leave towards the end of the video because I really pushed it to the limits. And as you could see while I was in the couch, that is a great scenario if you are doing an interview or if you are doing a video that you are not static now if you are static i've got a usb microphone right over here which you did probably listen a little bit there and in this particular case the usb microphone will be preferable it's cheaper and it will give us a great quality for the price because it's a condenser microphone nonetheless there are situations on this microphone just doesn't make sense for example a simple situation where i'm talking but if i need to move around then with the USB microphone, the sound will be different. Now, if we use the Voical Lark wireless, and if I move around, if I do anything, I can even go further away, the sound will stay or the sound will remain exactly the same because the distance of the microphone is exactly the same. So there isn't one size fits all. There are situations where a USB microphone will be better, there are situations where a wireless will be better. Now, the Vocal Lark in this particular case comes with two transmitters, this one and this one right over here. And by the way, this antenna, which is removable, USB Type-C, it's great, it will extend the distance. But once again, the distance test will be towards the end of the video. As I was saying, brings with two transmitters and one receiver. That's that, it comes with all the accessories that you will need to charge and to connect to any camera, any phone or in the package you will find everything that we need. Now in terms of build quality, one of the things that I really enjoy is that the materials are really, really nice. It's light, it looks nice and as you can see, I, I have no issues at all in using something like this. Even on my unboxings or gaming videos that I do that sometimes I need to move to that side or move to that side. Now there is one thing that you might ask yourself which is does it have an input for a lavalier mic and in this particular case no because it's meant to be used like this. And if you find that it's too visible which in my opinion doesn't look that bad it just looks like a regular microphone then you can use a jacket or a black shirt. Now the receiver we will find three jacks one is for the music input the other one is to monitor the audio that we are recording and then the last one is to plug into our camera to our phone or to our recording which i'm using a zoom h1n at this moment to record this out so we can mix music and our voice on the recording and then just record directly without having to do anything on the post-production. In my particular case, I always prefer to do it on post, but it is a great option. Now, in terms of the receiver, we will find a lot of information. You will find the battery remaining of the transmitters. You will also find the indication of the wireless signal, if it's strong, weak, medium. We will find the channel that the transmitter is connected. In this particular case, I think it's 8 and 17. We will find the battery level for the receiver, the audio if it's coming in from the transmitter or not, which will blink yellow if it's in a right level or red if it's on if it's speaking. So in terms of the build quality, the design, the audio quality that we get out of them and the possibility to record two different channels, two different persons, mono or stereo, more specifications down below on the link. I'm really happy to be using them. And for the tests that I've been doing, really, really nice. Now, before we move to the distances, I will just summarize what you will find at the end of the video. If you are not using the antenna, and if you have some objects blocking and the biggest object that will block your signal is our own body. So if I turn around to the receiver, this will be the biggest obstacle that we have. And if you are going to do this, then 10 meters will be the maximum without the antenna. If you have no obstacles at all, then my results test show that we can go up to 25 meters, which is a great 
distance. But if you need more freedom, then you just need to plug in this USB Type-C antenna, which I really enjoy the design and the idea that it's right over here. And with the antenna, we will get with obstacles up to 25 meters and without obstacles, 50 meters without any issues at all. Now, I also tested 75 meters without obstacles. It will work, but I will not guarantee at 75 that you will have no issues at all because sometimes we get a weird sound here and there and it could probably be the wind, but it could also probably be a obstacle, a car, a person passing or something like that, that could hurt the audio. I also did test it out at 100 meters and it worked, but check out the results to see if it's usable or not. In terms of the beautify modes that it has we are going to cycle them right now so far what you have heard is without any filter whatsoever directly as it comes out now if i press once right over here i will go to the uh, i will i was going to say beautify but no this is the noise cancelling mode and this i would use in extreme situations with a lot of winds or a lot of noise but as you can hear what happens is that it blocks the audio this the noise but it also blocks my own voice and it it's not a blocking but it it makes my voice a bit muffled and i really don't enjoy that so only extreme situations if i move to the red this is the beautify mode for female voice and once again honestly i don't like the filter at least in my voice don't really like it if i press once again this right now is the beautify mode for male but even though I'm a male and this is a beautiful mode for male, I don't like it. I don't like it. Now, if I press once again, this is the children beautify mode. And once again, guess, guess my opinion. I don't like it. I don't like the filter. Actually, let me move back to the white symbol, which is the no filter at all. This is my favorite one. But have in mind that each of our voices is different and our taste is different. So what doesn't work for me might work for you and vice versa. Having that in mind, let's do a final test. And this one has to do with the reverb. We have four different levels of reverb. And by the way, I did an unboxing video in Portuguese. If you want to watch it, even though it's in Portuguese, you will have a little bit of fun. I will leave a link right over here so that you can check it out. And when I did record the video, I had one of the reverb modes activated. So it was a bit weird. But we have four modes. At this moment, there is no reverb at all. If we press the button once, then it will show a small house. So we will have a small reverb right over here. If we press another time, then this is the second level of reverb and you are getting a bigger, bigger reverb. Now, if we go to the third level now here, you will notice a lot. This is like a theater room or stuff like that. And then lastly on the fourth mode, this is a big, big theater room. So the reverb is even bigger and probably it's hurting your ears and I don't want to cause that. And guys, basically this is it. In terms of the usage, the build quality, as I said, I'm really, really happy with it. In terms of the distance, as you will have the chance to see in just a few moments, just exaggerated my tests up to 100 meters. I don't see any scenario where you are going to record at 100 meters, not even at 50. I would say between 10, 15, that will be great. And most case scenarios, it's, it's right over here, right? five, six meters more or less something like that sometimes not even that probably in a hollywood movie feature but in that particular case you're not using these kind of microphones anyway so guys this is it hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one so just testing out the distance and each line 2.5 meters uh, about 25 meters 25 meters from the point that we are recording and we have the body blocking so how's the weather today it's Google. windy it's windy. it's really windy yeah actually it's really really windy so i'm not really sure yeah. i'm not really sure how the audio is going to be but that will be a great great test to see how it behaves under this windy here we are at more or less meters yes yes okay 50 20 meters lines. So 20 of those lines more or less 50 meters right over here a lot of wind a lot of noise and now not blocking the sound so let's see what we can hear or what we can't hear and let's move on
I'm not really sure if we are listening anything because we are 100 meters right over here. And the specifications mentioned that it's below 100 meters. So now let's go to the 75 again. Okay, so 75 meters right over here and we are with clear line of sight once again using the antenna the extra antenna usb type c antenna which is really really cool hopefully we can hear the audio or i'm just talking to the phone which will capture a crappy audio because of the wind that we have and right now we are approaching the tram lines again 50 meters right over here clear line of sight i would imagine that here we have sounds with a clear line of sight and just turn around and hopefully we can hear as well let's go to the 25 meters 25 meters so 25 meters right over here and i imagine that we can hear well with or without the antenna i haven't heard the footages but we will once we get home right now the day is almost 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 at the end great great sunset right over there a great sunset to finish up testing out microphones and distances and here we are okay let's see what we got